and now Laura Loomer, an investigative journalist who now is the candidate, Republican candidate in the 21st district for the U.S. Congress in the state of Florida, indeed, in President Donald Trump's district. Laura, I know you're following this breaking news and rioting and all of this craziness very closely. What is going on? Why is it happening? How does it get stopped? And what are the implications for the election on November 3rd, 2020? Well, what you're seeing is you're seeing uh, the Democrats' radical leftist base, which is uh, comp uh, comprised of uh, Marxist jihadists. Really, this is what it is. It's a Marxist jihadist alliance uh, with Antifa, uh, Black Lives Matter rioters, and uh, also what we're seeing in Minnesota, uh, full-blown jihadists, right? Somali migrants and individuals who have uh, sympathies to Islamic terrorist organizations um, taking advantage of a tragedy which the entire nation has agreed upon is a tragedy. I think that this is probably the only uh, instance of a innocent black man getting uh, murdered by a police officer that had unanimous, uh, I guess, support and agreement from the entire nation that it was a murder and that this police officer should face consequences. But instead of actually fighting for racial uh, equality and against police brutality, uh, the radical leftists and their Democrat partners are standing by and allowing for absolute chaos and violence to erupt in an election year uh, because, you know, as they say, never let a crisis go to waste. And so you don't see any members of the Democrat Party condemning uh, these acts of terrorism, and that's really what it is. It's now domestic terrorism, which is why yesterday President Donald Trump finally decided to designate Antifa as a terrorist organization. And you can see that you know, these Democrat officials are starting to use their children and family members as proxy uh, messengers. Uh, for example, right, Keith Ellison, who has openly tweeted his support of Antifa, and mind you, the mainstream media is trying to pretend like this is a new story, but I remember when I was on the ground in Minnesota uh, with people like Trevor Loudon and Phil Haney, and we were warning people about this two years ago, right? We were breaking the story. Uh, Trevor wrote a book about this. So it's just completely disingenuous and hypocritical, and it's a full-blown lie for the media to be pretending like they don't know that the Attorney General of Minnesota has openly endorsed Antifa. Um, you have the governor of Minnesota's daughter who is uh, tweeting out support for Antifa. Ilhan Omar's uh, daughter has been tweeting out supply lists for Antifa terrorists. Bill de Blasio's daughter uh, was caught up in one of the Black Lives Matter Antifa protests. Uh, I mean, just there's countless examples. Uh, you have Tim Kaine. Let's not forget him. He could have been the vice president of the United States, and his son, Woody, was literally arrested for trying to throw Molotov cocktails into the state capitol in Minnesota as a member of Antifa. So the Democrats can pretend like they're not tied to Antifa, uh, but they don't even want to pretend, right? They are openly embracing these domestic terrorists, and now it's happening here in District 21, where I'm running for Congress. And you have Lois Frankel, the sitting Democrat congresswoman, who's tweeting, quote, thank you to the protesters and West Palm Beach police for the peaceful interaction this afternoon. Please continue to show the nation how it's done. Uh, peaceful, I don't know what she's talking about, because yesterday when I was on I-95, I was surrounded by police officers and was stuck in traffic for over 20 minutes because Antifa terrorists and BLM rioters decided to shut down traffic on the southbound and northbound lanes in I-95. I don't know how that's peaceful. Uh, last night, these same people um, set a Best Buy in the district on fire. They also started to uh, loot stores. They shattered the windows of Target. They shattered the windows of business owners in the district. I uh, drove by a gas station. They sprayed graffiti. This is not peaceful. And so what you have is a Democrat congresswoman tweeting her support, basically, for Antifa. Because this tweet was posted hours after... I-95 got shut down. This tweet was posted hours after Palm Beach issued out a county-wide emergency order via text message telling people to be careful because of violent protests. Just like Lois Frankel, all of the Democrats are complicit in this, in this matter. I haven't seen a single member of the Democrat Party or Democrat Party leadership condemning Antifa or calling for uh, you know, calling, calling for Antifa and BLM to not be rioting. So, um, you know, this is this just goes to show you the severity of uh, the importance, right, <laughs> of the 2020 election, because it really is a fight for our country. What we're witnessing is full-blown insurrection and, and a coup, 
and the Democrats are turning a blind eye because, uh, well, anything to make Donald Trump look bad, right? Well, uh, summing it up, um, Laura, thank you for your, uh, your, your input. And uh, the fact is that you were on the ground extensively a couple of years ago. Um, before you give us a, uh, your prediction on how this is going to impact the election, uh, Jeremiah Ellison, uh, Keith Ellison's son, he uh, has exhibited and uh, gone on record as uh, defending and supporting, being a supporter of Antifa. Does that surprise you at all? No, and it doesn't surprise me because I recall one of the days when I confronted Keith Ellison on camera and lured him in a park in Minneapolis for abusing women. Um, his son, Jeremiah, actually tried to pick a fight with me and was held back by people because he tried to physically charge me. And so um, he tried to physically charge me when I called out his father for being a woman beater. So just like his father, he clearly has an anger management problem. And just like his father, he clearly is a supporter of domestic terrorists that runs in the family. You know, I mean, this is this is a guy who went to a jihadist uh, school in Minnesota. Keith Ellison sent uh, Jeremiah Ellison, his son, to one of the uh, you know notorious uh, uh, Sharia compliant um, you know educational centers in Minneapolis, uh, where I believe it was. Imam Zaman, that's his name. His name is Imam Zaman. And there are actually reports of the same Imam who educated Jeremiah Ellison uh, making threats uh, towards a woman saying that uh, he would do her husband's job for him and kill her. Uh, so Keith Ellison has truly raised a, you know, a radical, a radical, radical son who is now openly expressing his father's political agenda. Well, that's uh, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree and um, give us uh, your quick summation on how these riots, this insurrection, as you referred to, is going to impact the election on uh, November 3rd. Well, I think that it's only going to cause people to vote Republican because what you're seeing is you're seeing Antifa and Black Lives Matter rioters say that this is for racial justice. And while they chant Black Lives Matter, they're simultaneously burning down businesses and, uh, and stores in impoverished black and minority neighborhoods. And so this is not really uh, doing anything to ensure justice for, uh, for black people. It's actually uh, further oppressing black people in these, uh, in these communities uh, because it's taking away their ability for upward mobility by destroying uh, you know, some of the only shopping centers and uh, low income housing centers that these people have. Um, and so I think a lot of people are starting to see uh, this for what it is and I predict uh, election victories for uh, for Republicans. I'm seeing it myself as a candidate for Congress here. I'm getting messages from people telling me that they are independent or Democrat and they're disgusted by Lois Frankel's tweet. And, you know, my volunteer list is growing by the minute. So that's why I'm going to unseat Lois Frankel in November and why I predict a lot of Democrats are going to be losing elections come November. All right. We'll, uh, we'll stay in touch with you and get regular updates and you uh, stay safe out there and uh, may god bless your work take care Lo take care laura we'll see you all right bye